Welcome back to Project 406 Coupe. Purposely started on this shot because this was the thumbnail for the last video, which showed the 406 Coupe in a pre-wash state. So as discovered, and um, as, as I zoom out, hopefully you can tell that she's been washed. If you can't tell, I've done something seriously wrong. Um, so apologies if the wind noise gets in the way of this video, but it is quite windy here. Um, but I want to crack on because I've got other things to do. Um, yeah, she's been washed. It took six, possibly seven buckets of water to do it. And um, I used a two, two bucket method because I'm a professional detailer. And um, obviously this is a Concours winning car. And um, I'm actually very pleased with the results. Obviously a wash isn't going to make her perfect. And there are other things ahead that are going to be more challenging. But um, if you look on the bonnet, it's looking good. There are scratches, which were hidden by the grime. That is what I believe to be pheasant. So forensic examination would suggest that the pheasant hit here um, and then made its way up the bonnet, possibly to the windscreen as well. Um, doesn't really account for this scratch here. It doesn't really account for the damage down there and over there. But the bumper has seen better days. Um, but Again, it's cosmetic and um, it's not going to get in the way of progress. Coming down the side of the car, you can now see the extent of the surface rust. And I have checked thoroughly and it is definitely surface rust. And I can get that back. The wheels have been washed. Um, Rob King pointed out that the tyres are 2010, so they will need to be replaced probably after the MOT. I just want to get a ticket on it first and then we'll, we'll get new tyres once she's got that passed. Um, Thanks to the 406 Owners Club, which is an excellent club, by the way. I, I've registered. I'll be donating some money to them in the, in the future. And I'll also put a link in the bottom down there. Um, these are starfish alloys. And um, I think they're the best looking alloys you can get on the 406, having seen the other alternatives. Um, there's a nasty, nasty scratch, actually stroke and dent there, which I hadn't noticed before, um, which actually extends to here as well. So I'm beginning to get to know this car and all of the cosmetic issues that are going to have to be sorted out. Um, I could be wrong and it could just be because it's quite flat, but it looks like there's been a repair of some sort here. Um, I could be wrong and I'm not that bothered. Um, the rear bumper, the rear bumper is actually worse than I thought. We knew about this, um, but actually there's another sort of hairline crack there, which is annoying. And that extends all the way along here. You see the water damage on the on the badge again. Um, more weird damage here. It's like it's been paintballing. Very strange. I really can't work out how you would get that much damage on the back. Possibly a dog. Maybe. Don't know. Um, and another another dent here. That's going to be a challenge getting that up, but we'll try. Both the rear lights have got, well, this one's not too bad, but there is condensation in the rear lights. This one, it makes it look quite flat. Um, again, not that concerned at this stage. All of the, all of the detritus, it's a good word, have been removed from this little gully down here. Um, I will overlay some pictures in a minute to show you what it was like before, but that was, that was nasty. That was like its own ecosystem down there. This side, Again, actually, I don't know, because that looks quite flat and scratchy as well. So maybe there isn't any damage on the other side. Maybe it is just the way the paint's gone over the years. I would call this typical Devon hedgerows damage. So obviously down the narrow lanes, you pull into the left to let a tourist or a milk lorry or a tractor or a bus go past. And inevitably, you're going to get scratches. They'll come out. Confident of that. And then all the way down the side. Well, I've left a bit of, bit of grime in there. Sorry about that. Um, and then this, again, lots and lots of little scratches which will come out. You're probably using turtle wax. You never know, I use that turtle wax repair and repair stuff again. They have been in touch, they like the video. Um, B&M Bargains, actually B&M Bargains have been in touch on Twitter, believe it or not. Anyway, um, and more, more rust there. Um, I begin to learn a lot more about the car, thanks to the 406 Club, 406 Coupe Club, I should say. Um, I will. I know. I know. Overlay some photos here because 
it was pretty rank in here. Um, all of this was grimy. This was horrendous. This was well. This was this was, this was still green after I'd washed the after I'd washed it. All of this was pretty grim. It's now looking a bit better. I haven't I haven't bought it back yet of any sort of renovation renovating fluids. Um, and also inside the door, which is looking so much better. Again, you'll know that once I've overlaid the pictures in the edit. And um, I've also I've also open the filler cap this was well there were more spiders in here than I can't think of anything to say about that there were a lot of spiders in there more spiders on there than Mars um, and that's now looking clean I can't stand a dirty filler cap because you I mean, it's one thing only you really notice but it always when you get to a petrol station and you find out you haven't cleaned it's not great and then into the boot I've cleaned well, this is, I'm quite pleased with this. The result there is excellent. That was, that was horrendous. Um, you can see actually in there, well, I haven't had a brush small enough to get in. Well, this, that was what it was like all over. Uh, it's now not like that. Inside of the, um, whoa. Sorry, the, um, had a moment there with, uh, with the gimbal. Bit of dampness there. Hopefully that's where I washed a, last night because some water did get in here so a little bit of condensation and again on that side um then if you notice but i don't know if this is a common problem with 406 coupes but there is some surface rust here which is going to need to be looked at um i'm mean, getting to the point these are the sort of things that we'll worry about if and when she gets an mot um what i haven't done yet let me just take you through the keyhole um, this is going to be a challenge. Um, open, the, open the bonnet. A couple of people on Twitter. I'll put links to their Twitter handles in the um, in the description. I haven't quite worked out. This is always easier when you've got one hand, two hands. A couple of people have pointed out that doing under here is a is a a must and b quite difficult. Um, as you can see, this is a job for another day. The, the gimbal is going to go again, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to hold it steady with my own hand. Um, yeah, I've seen pine, pine less. I've seen pine forest with less detritus than that. Detritus is a strange word. I've, only, I've used it twice then. I probably haven't used it once in the last decade. Um, so yeah, detritus, detritus, detritus. More detritus. It's a good word, isn't it? And um, even more detritus. Of course, the problem with that is obviously you, you get block water, block drainage holes, and water can get where it shouldn't be getting. And also you can build up and get rust as well um, and also i heard that you need to get underneath underneath the arches it's not like walford underneath the arches to clean out in there as well because i doubt that's ever been done i'm fully aware that washing there is almost the least of her problems at the moment and it's a bit like moving into a derelict cottage and um putting a few pictures on the wall and saying it's done but it's one of those things i wanted to do um, and the other thing I need to do is actually check that because she's been she hasn't been moved she hasn't been started now for two days three days so does she start does the battery hold enough charge to leave her for three days because I just think the battery's running flat even when she's moving so um let's let's have a look well we've got lights yeah you see clearly see that she's um gonna need some oil um, she did labour a little bit there, didn't she? Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to show you the results of the um, of the wash, and um, I, I'm very pleased with the results of the wash. I feel like a hero for bringing her back to this this level of brilliance. There she is, Beauty and the Beast. There's Erica, the FFB Classic 570. Um, it'll be interesting to see which, which video gets more views, the 406 Coupe or the FFB Classic. They're both, at the moment, the most popular videos in terms of, at the moment, in real time, they're the most popular videos I've done. Um, Beauty or the Beast, which will win? Um, we, haven't done a, we haven't done the money shot yet with the fog lights on. That'll be even better when, um, when, they're, when they're yellow. Um, but yeah, look, she's actually looking good. 
progress is being made. Thanks for watching.